Welcome, Doors. Previously, we learned how to create a project and handle a task. Now, let's move on and find out how we can organize the work on our ongoing projects a little bit better. That is fantastic, Susanna, because here at the Dinosaur Museum, every day we're dealing with a ton of projects, honestly, and, uh, and it's kind of easy to lose track of which project needs some attention. Oh, I know what you mean. Well, luckily for you, um, Odoo Project allows you to configure project stages and statuses, which allows you to easily see your project's progress. Let's go ahead and see together how it's done in our database. Let's dive into our project application. And here we can see all of our projects currently ongoing at the Dinosaur Museum. As you can see, there's a lot going on. And the problem of this overview is that it gives us an idea about um, our existing projects, but it doesn't tell us how they're doing and where we are at the project's life cycle. So for that, let's go ahead and go into our configuration and settings and turn on our project stages. I'm going to go ahead and save this. And once we've done that, we can actually just go into our stages from here. And then the pre-existing stages are the standard ones that you would expect. So we have new, in progress, done, consult. And uh, for our purposes, we are actually going to add one more. We're going to call it in review. And another thing that you will notice here is this um, uh, list that allows us to select if something is folded in Kanban or not. So what it does is essentially it just hides, it, hides uh, the stage from immediate view. The reason for that is just to declutter your screen a little bit from the stuff that you just don't need to look at. So here by default, done and canceled are projects that you don't need to look at on a regular basis, so you can only unfold them when you need them. So let's see what this looks like in our project dashboard, and you see the view has changed, um, and our new stage has been created here by default as the last one. We can simply drag and drop it to where we want it to be. Um, and then if you want to look at your done stage, stage you can click quickly just click on it, and then you would see all of your existing projects. So, for example, I could say that Fossil Party project has actually been done. I'll drop it here and I can fold or unfold it whenever I like. Um, another thing that you could do is you could just click on the gear icon uh, to decide to archive or unarchive all of the projects in a certain stage. Um, so I could just say archive everything. And then my dying stage is just cleared out. Everything has been archived. All right, uh, another thing that I can do is if I want to notify the client when a project reaches a certain stage, so for example, here with the done stage, I could just click um, on the gear icon, select edit, and I can set up an email or an SMS template, for example, this one here saying project has been completed, and save and close. So once I've done that, the minute that I move another project into this done stage, um, the client will be automatically notified via an email uh, about the fact that the project has been completed. Wow, Susanna, is that the notification already? Sounds like it. Wow, that's fast. Um, stages are pretty clear now, but what about statuses? Is it the same thing? That's a great question, actually. Um, and... Actually, no. So there are two different things. And what's important to understand is that the project stages, which we have seen just now, um, tell us where our project is at a certain point in its life cycle. So they tell us that we're working on something, something is in pro progress and so on. But they don't actually tell us how the project is doing. So for example, we could have something that's in review, but actually it needs a lot of attention because the work is not going so well on the project. Or, for example, we could have a project that's in to-do stage, but it's completely normal and the project is actually on track. So this is where the project statuses come in. Uh, and for the statuses, you just by default have this little dot next to your project. And if I click on it, I can say uh, something is on track, at risk, off track, on hold, and so on. Depending on your project status, uh, the project bar, the progress bar here at the top of our column, will also be impacted. So you always have a bird's eye overview of each project status uh, in, and project stage and where the project stands. So I will just show you an example here. I will drag Dino Lectures into in progress column. And if I give it a status, say on hold, you see immediately that the progress bar 
has gotten some color and you can easily see how your projects are doing. Hopefully this is a little bit more clear now. Um, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in another video.